Hi, I am Alok Kumar Singh. I'm the uh, creative director and co-founder of Asset School of Design, India's first and only uh, sustainable design school for fashion and interior design. I think we have to be uh, really, really proud of the city. Then only uh, the actions will start happening. I think somewhere down the line, we have lost that pride which uh, we used to always have for this city. So I think. Uh, I tell my students that you have to first feel proud, pride in the city you are in, and then you will see a lot of things are happening. So always look, also look into the positive side rather than only look at the negative side, which people tell that uh, nothing is happening in the city. But here I'm interviewing with uh, Y East, and we are doing this amazing um, uh, talk on uh, different sustainable initiative happening here. You know, so there's so many things happening and there are so many young people now doing things. I think it's just that we have to start being a little bit more optimistic towards the city. Overall, the imminent danger is the overconsumption is everything actually, you know. So yeah, that is that is one thing which I'm very concerned and it's already been predicted that the city will go under uh, minimum of three feet of water. major difference is uh, giving awareness to a student about the entire problems uh, within the fashion industry which is uh, one of the most polluting industries uh, nowadays. So that is how our course has been designed, uh, giving students a unique experience in understanding uh, the problems and solving by looking at it through the uh, lens of sustainability and ethics in the entire design collections they make. Sadly, I think we are in the age of fast fashion. You know, young minds, you know, uh, and it's an age of social media. So everything is very fast actually again, you know. So I think it's our responsibility to make younger people understand the effect of fast fashion rather than just making them uh, a part of that ultra consumerist society. Tram has been a very integral part of my life because my granddad and my father both used to work for the Calcutta Tramways uh, company, CTC. And uh, I used to feel so proud because I used to tell people that, you know, in Calcutta is the only city where we have uh, uh, trams and it's such an uh, amazing uh, part of our uh, collective heritage and memories uh, which we should preserve the areas it can go, make it more popular with the young generations, young people. Uh, you know, so I think I think it's a it's much needed and uh, a lot of fond memories. But I do feel sad when I see slowly, slowly uh, less trams and uh, slowly, slowly trams are coming off from the city. So I think uh, there should also be a, a collective voice uh, uh, to restore this kind of legacies which we have, which nobody else have. You cannot see trams in any any city in India. You know, so. Uh, we are the only one to have it and what a fool we will if we uh, lose it. We have trams but also very sad when I see that it's, it's decreasing and slowly slowly I think one day it might vanish but then I think I'm very hopeful that uh, we all can come together and preserve it and do something amazing. Yeah, so.